Once President-elect Donald Trump is sworn into the White House, all lies will be on his first 100 days. Now he'll have a majority and newly unified Republican Congress to help him accomplish his agenda. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingell joins us now in the studio. And Stefan, Donald Trump has a long list of one, what he wants to get done in those first 100 days. Sure, that's right. And on that list includes removing more than 2 million criminal illegal immigrants. Now, that also includes uh, middle class tax relief, among a number of other things. But we explore what a President Trump could actually get accomplished. I hope you're having as good a day as I am. With much of the nation still in shock at an upset in the presidential election. We look forward to working with him. I think most of the things that he's likely to advocate we're going to be enthusiastically for. Where we have differences of opinion, I expect to discuss them privately and not sort of hashing them out in public. The reality soon sets in that a president Trump will be making changes in Washington in his first 100 days. And the number one item on the list that we most likely will see is repealing the Affordable Care Act, along with appointing a Supreme Court justice, addressing national security, and even getting rid of NAFTA. I think you will see some action in trade. I think you'll see uh, him try to make different trade deals with China. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that resonated with people. But then comes talk about the wall, the one that Trump says Mexico is going to pay for. I don't think that that Muslims or people of that persuasion or uh, Hispanic illegals uh, are going to be automatically uh, deported. And I think that was more rhetoric. Well, many could argue that it was indeed Trump's rhetoric that got him to the White House. Now, only time will tell if America will see campaign Trump or President Trump, who graciously accepted election victory. We're live in the studio tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.